In this video, I'm going to be looking at the mind-blowing Minimax AI video generator, which is completely free with unlimited generations. I'll show you some of the craziest and best prompts to use, and what it does better than any other video generator. Okay, let's get into it. Just to let you know, I've created a free document containing all the prompts I've used in this video, and you can find that down below, along with the link to this website. So it is incredibly easy to use. Once you're on their site, you may need to put translate to English on, depending on where you live, as this is a Chinese-based website. And all you have to do is put in your prompt and click on generate video. You have two tabs below that which show your generations, or you can check out some of their featured videos. So if you just want to have a look at their videos to check out some of the prompts I've used and to copy them or use for inspiration, go ahead and check them out. There is a wide variety and they're pretty cool. So as we can see here, this one is Cat Eats Fish, Dog Eats Meat, Ultraman Fights Monsters. And you can choose to copy the prompt here as well. And this is another one of their videos, which looks incredibly realistic. And from here, you can choose to download it. Now you've probably noticed there is a watermark here, but I'll show you how to get rid of that later in the video. And I really like this video that they created, which shows you how wacky you can get with the generations. And as you can see, the prompt is a pretty comprehensive. What's great is they recently raised the characters from 500 to 2000. So you can add a lot of detail into the prompt that you give it. At the time of recording this, it is free to use, so I would take advantage of that, as they may put a paywall on it in the future. This video is broken up into chapters, and each chapter will focus on a different kind of prompt. So for the first round of prompts, let's have a look at how well it works with famous characters and celebrities. So as you can see with this prompt, it's Batman walking through New York, and it looks amazing. The walking animation is very lifelike, and everything about it just looks very real. And here we have a really nice video of Darth Vader walking on a beach. I really like the lighting on this one. And again, it does a really good job at the walking animation. And here we have Tom Cruise and Darth Vader just sitting on a couch. While Tom Cruise doesn't look 100% like him, it still looks really good. Here's another one of Batman. So this is Batman inside a cafe diner and he is reading the menu. It's got a really nice angle to this one, and it looks like we're just sitting there with Batman, waiting for our coffee. It's also incredible at creating video game characters as well. So as you can see, this one is of Mario just walking along confidently, and it looks awesome. It's done a really good job at rendering out those kind of high quality graphics. I thought, why not do the spaghetti meme, but with Mario? Now, he's not quite eating the spaghetti in this one, but it looks really good still. And here's Superman eating spaghetti while flying. Now, I'm guessing eating spaghetti while flying is pretty hard to do. And here's Darth Vader attempting to eat spaghetti, and it seems like he's got it stuck in his mask. And Batman got jealous, so he decided to have some spaghetti too, while he's enjoying a lovely night on his own on a rooftop. They even like hanging out together, so here we have Vader and Mario chilling with a bucket of popcorn. I really love the animation on Mario on this one. And it looks like Darth Vader is either cold or having some sort of seizure, which is quite alarming. So feel free to play around with your favorite characters or celebrities. I'm sure you'll get some great results. Now let's have a look at how well it creates realistic humans. Minimax is incredible for creating these sorts of shots as we have a woman on her phone in a subway station. And everything about this shot just looks very believable, from the people walking in the background to her realistically scrolling on her phone. And the lighting is just really, really natural. And it's incredible at doing emotions as well. So here we have a realistic close-up of a man crying with cinematic lighting. It looks very real to me, except for this tear that comes down and it kind of goes back up again, and then comes down. I think they've done a great job. As you can see, his eyes are red and watery, and the lighting is just very natural. And here we have an old man looking concerned, and it does exactly what the prompt says. To be honest, it looks like I'm just watching a scene from a film. It looks that realistic. 
Again, these over-the-shoulder kind of conversational shots are pretty mind-blowing, to be honest. This video looks incredibly realistic with the woman laughing. It's insane. And here we have a woman who's kind of on the verge of crying and laughing, and it manages to switch between those emotions really well. And this woman looks very scared as she's waiting in the dentist office. The subtle movement in the eyes as she's looking around, you can tell she's thinking something. And it's not just a robotic face animation. It's getting really scary how close they are getting to reality now. And here we have a man looking angry with fire behind him. And I really like how the character is kind of not fully lit, he's just being lit by the fire behind him and that just adds that extra depth of realism to it. You can create some scenes that look like they're straight out of a movie, especially if you put cinematic lighting in the prompt. Like this one where it's an over-the-shoulder view, watching a conversation happen in a diner. As you can see in this one, I've put the camera slowly pans right, and it's doing that slow motion going from left to right. And I really love the addition of the cars you can see outside the window. It looks very, very realistic. And I've been trying the popular videos of people doing talks on a stage, and they look great. The movements and kind of motions they're doing with their arms are very realistic looking, and it just feels very natural. And this is quite a weird video. It's of a person that looks like Lara Croft eating a snake in the jungle. It's really weird and creepy, but it looks incredibly realistic, the motion of her eating the snake. And here's one of her eating a spider. And I find using words like hyper-detailed close-up shot in the prompt gives really good results, like this video here, which looks insanely detailed and realistic. Especially with that shallow depth of field, like you can see the kind of face becoming slightly blurred as it gets further away. It just has that very cinematic feel to it. Now let's have a look at how well it does text. Now I'm not going to lie, this is some of the best text in video I've ever seen. So for this prompt I just put the text, Atomic is frozen over an iceberg. And it spells it perfectly. With other video generators, they tend to not get the text right all the time, whereas I've found Minimax has got it right pretty much 99% of the time. So here's another example with the text Atomic is fire on a lake, and it's spelt it correctly, it's even got some really nice reflections in the lake of the fire. And this one, I've got a cinematic movie intro with the title Atomic Gains, and it does a really cool camera movement with it. And this is another one. It blows my mind because you could use this to create your own motion graphics and titles for your own project, instead of going to other websites where you have to buy them. This is completely free, and you can just keep generating more and more until you get the one that you really like. You can get quite creative with the text function. Like you can see here, I told the prompt to have a man wearing a hat that says subscribe on it, and he is pointing to the hat. And here are a few more that I made. So in this one, I told it to have a tennis player putting on his headband, which says subscribe as well. And as you can see, the text comes out perfectly. And you can choose to mask the text. So this one I said to have the text on his t-shirt while he put on a jacket. And here's another version of that one. And while we're on the subject of subscribing, if you could subscribe, that would be awesome. Okay, back to the video. Now let's have a look at visual effect prompts. Minimax does an incredible job at making visual effect videos. Like, as you can see with this one, a vortex of fire is swirling through an abandoned warehouse, and it renders the fire perfectly, along with some really incredible lighting. And here we have a couple of videos where monsters are destroying a city, and they look pretty awesome. It works really well with metallic surfaces as well. So I've got this metal orb floating over a city, and as the camera orbits around it, you can see the reflections in it and the light reflecting off the orb in a realistic way. And here we have colorful paint crashes through the city streets, and you can play around with transforming as well. So this is a ball of fire that transforms into ice, and it's pretty cool you can change people's appearances as well. So with this one, I wanted a man with flaming hair, and here we have a pug face on a man's body. And for this one, I wanted the woman's hair to be kind of black smoke, and it's done a really good job at kind of 
having these wispy bits of smoke on the side of her face, which is a really cool effect. So here we have some weird ones, with a man kind of vomiting out some slime, and a man with lava kind of pouring out of his mouth and going up his head. They're really weird, but I think they're just really cool visually. Now let's have a look at landscape and nature prompts. I find it works really well with kind of documentary style nature shots, like this video of this frog. It looks incredibly realistic, but it's got that really nice kind of wet look to it, which looks very realistic. And it's great at doing really nice drone landscape shots, like this beautiful drone shot over some countryside. If you add words like cinematic lighting into there, it just creates a really dramatic look to it. You can do some really beautiful macro shots as well, like this one of a kind of water droplet on a leaf. Just looks incredibly detailed if you add in macro cinematography into your prompt as well. You can also have fun with the animal prompts as well, like this one is a hybrid of a horse and a hawk, and it looks incredible. It's got that really nice kind of flowing motion to the mane of the horse, that slow-mo kind of cinematic look to it. Now let's have a look at different art styles. Minimax is great at emulating different art styles into your video. So in this one here we've got a Lego art style, and it looks really cool. It's nailed that Lego look to the whole video. Here we have another Lego one of a Lego character walking down a catwalk. Even the face animations look really good. It does a great job at doing claymation style videos as well, so like that kind of Wallace and Gromit style. I got one of Mario picking up trash off his lawn, and this one which is one of my favourites. Mario actually doing his job, which is being a plumber. It looks like someone's actually made a stop-motion claymation animation. It works well with 2D anime style videos as well. Like this one here, it's got that really beautiful looking animation on the face. This video here looks really stunning. It's got a really nice soft 3D look to this one. This one is the same prompt but with a different style, and it looks like it's straight out of a kind of old PlayStation video game. You can even see the kind of pixelated hair on the edge. So this one is really unique, it's added like a nice black outline to the character, and it's just a really unique looking style. And this one is kind of like a claymation but stop motion style as well, and it looks kind of like that film Coraline if you've ever seen that. And this one's really nice, it's got that kind of stop motion feel but looks more like a painted art style. It looks really, really nice. And here are just some extra prompts which I really, really liked. Here's some great prompts for creating that professional photo shoot kind of look, and it works really well, creates that nice soft lighting, and this is great if you want to have just a kind of solid background, and it feels like your character or object is the main focus, without anything distracting. Like this one here, it looks like a really nice perfume bottle advertisement, and you could easily put the text on the side here, and you can use this as a product video. It works really well for vehicles as well. I find as long as you put like a fast moving shot, it will create these really nice environments where it will focus on the vehicle, but make it feel like it's moving fast. Otherwise, sometimes it can have the vehicle moving slowly and it doesn't quite look that natural. But yeah, these look great. As you can see, the really nice looking reflections coming off the car. And here we have a really dynamic shot of a person on a motorbike. What I like about this one is I put in the prompt, the camera moves from a low angle view of the bike and moves up to the rider's helmet. Now, it doesn't quite move up to the helmet, but it kind of goes in from that low angle shot and then zooms out, which I think is a really nice dynamic camera movement. Now let's have a look at removing the watermark. So I use this free website, which I'll leave a link to down below. So just drag in your video, click on remove logo, and then drag over where the watermark is. And as you'll see, it will kind of blur it out. And then just click apply. And from there, you just want to save and export your video. As you can see, it's done a pretty good job at getting rid of that watermark. Okay, so we've reached the end of this video. Definitely give this a try to create some really unique looking videos. 
If you have any comments, please leave them down below. And remember to grab that free document, which is in the description down below. It would be awesome if you could like this video and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And if you'd like to check out one of our other videos, feel free to click the image you can see on screen. Thanks for watching.